A group known as the State of Emergency on Gender-Based Violence has expressed concern over the non-compliance of some state governments to domesticate the Violence Against Persons Prohibition VAPP Act and the Child Rights Act in their states. The group says that despite continuous protest and media outrage, more than half of the states are yet to pass the bill. They, however, called on the Nigerian Governor's Forum to match its words with action following its declaration of a state of emergency on sex and gender-based violence in Nigeria. It has been three months since the commencement of the state of emergency GBV campaign. We simultaneously held peaceful protests in Abuja and Lagos on the 5th of June 2020. Afterwards, similar protests were replicated in other states and cities by sister civil society organizations insisting on the declaration of a state of emergency on sexual and gender-based violence in Nigeria. These protests complemented online, the ongoing online campaign, State of Emergency GBB, calling on citizens to demand that their legislators and state governments take holistic steps to protect citizens from all forms of violence, particularly sexual and gender-based violence. We are concerned that more than half of all the states are yet to pass these laws. We are deeply concerned about the inactivity with deliberations and domestications, domestication of the Child Rights Act. On the 12th of June 2020, the Nigeria Governors Forum declared a state of emergency against sexual and gender-based violence. Since then, the NGS silence has been loud. We have seen no other collective action taken by state governors to follow through on their promises. As of today, 14 states have, only 14 states have adopted the VAP Act. One of our five asks is actually calling on the police to have disciplinary action against police officers who are not willing to take the cases all the way because that is their job. Because when we're talking about sexual violence in particular, it is a crime against the state, not just a crime against the person. And so until our law enforcement starts to believe that and take that seriously, we still have a lot of work to do. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.